Hello and welcome back to Sort It Out SIFC, the Let's Play series where we're taking our creator club all the way to the top. And it is season number four, episode number two, and we are in League One. And as you can see from the league table on the screen here, well in the playoff hunt after just ten games so far this season. We've done quite well. We've got a couple of games in hand on the two sides above us, and today we face top of the table Rotherham as well. Uh, so this is a real six-pointer. We win that one, and with that game in hand, we could, in theory, go top. Uh, this is how we've been doing since the last episode. Obviously, we started out really well with those two victories, one in the EFL Cup. Uh, we lost our first league game uh, away at Stevenage, uh, and then we subsequently got knocked out of the EFL Cup at the third round stage after facing Arsenal, obviously, of the Premier League. But a decent little cup run there. Uh, speaking of cup runs in the EFL Trophy, we're already through into the next round after winning our first two games in the groups. Uh, we've got Burton in the next final group game there, and also Rochdale of the Vanarama National in the FA Cup first round. So in theory, we could be advancing in all three cups out of the first stage at the very least. Anyway, league is the important thing and we're on the back of three victories. We haven't actually lost in the league since that Stevenage game. So it's just the one defeat so far, but it is tight at the top. Six wins, uh, three draws and one defeat. Leaves on 21 points, but a healthy 13 goal difference. Uh, in terms of the squad, I don't think we brought anyone in on transfer day, I will just double check in case my mind is failing me. No, we did not. And the only thing that happened are, I think, a couple of loans out of young youngsters since the end of the last episode. Who's been playing well, though? According to the average rating, uh, Ibrahim Conte, who has played in the cup games, is the highest rated. But he's only played four times. He's got two goals, though, and he's definitely one for the future. But it's looking like Crankshaw is basically pulling his weight more than he should be on the uh, wings. Thorndike's got the most goals so far, quickly followed by Phoenix Patterson uh, in terms of actual goal scored. Favili's on four as well. We're still looking potentially to get rid of him because his contract's up at the end of the year uh, and he doesn't want to sign a new one. And well, when, I, when he did want to sign a new one, it was for basically 12 and a half grand a week, which we cannot afford in League One. Maybe in the Championship we could, but potentially we could get a better player than him in the Championship anyway. So there is that. If we can get some money for him, whether that's the two and a half million he's currently listed for or not, probably unlikely, but we will see how we get on. But Thorndike has got the most goals so far. Phoenix Patterson has been a revelation in uh, the left-hand side of midfield, replacing Riley Owen. Anyway, today's match is against league leaders Rotherham away from home. We're off to New York. Stadium, uh, and we've got Vigoro in goal. Brunt, Spencer, Adams, Kilgore are back three. Patterson on the left, as mentioned. Crankshaw on the right. Booty and Lindsay in the centre of midfield. Marshall and Thorndike. I need to mention Osario in a second as well. And Favili up top. So Claudio Osario is currently injured. He's going to be out for another couple of months potentially. Uh, I can't see where he's there. There's the injured sign there. Uh, so he's torn his calf muscle. Back at the end of August, he's still got another three to seven weeks out. So we could be mid to late November before he's back. Uh, but we're doing okay without him, so let's not worry too much. On to today's first game. Obviously, it's going to be a real tight one. We're going to start out cautious um, because top of the table, Rotherham are a good side, clearly. But we can carry our performance into from the last match. Well, that was a bit strange. We went through the roof there uh, and hopefully get some points. A draw I'd be happy with. A victory would be even better. Let's put the league table up there because I forgot to change it in the last game since the last cup outing. But uh, there we go. Off, off to the races. Uh, three chances so far for Rotherham. Nothing in terms of highlights or really potential chances for ourselves. But we'll see how we get on. 20 minutes gone. I'm going to do a shout of encourage and see if that can inspire some green faces. It has done for pretty much nine. Well, it looks like nine of the 11 players are happy with that feedback. But it's a corner for Rotherham, the first real highlight. And it's been bundled over the line by Osho. Great start, guys. Excellent. Half an hour gone and the New York Stadium is uh, in great form for them. I don't know where I was going with that. I just wanted to say New York again. 1-0 Rotherham nearing half-time. We've been quite neutered so far in this performance. Two shots, two shots on target. Nothing even worthy of a highlight as we get to half-time. It's been a quick one as we go through the roof once again. Right, I'm going to go through the roof. Maybe not. I don't know. Unlucky, done nothing wrong. Satisfactory at best, I'd say. We need to improve 
is my feedback. Uh, so far, so defeating. If that is correct, I'm not sure. But it puts us outside the playoffs with the defeat. A draw, as I said, would be happy with. We've got Blackpool in the next game as well, so it's a little tough run of fixtures in this episode. I'm going to shout demand more, try and inspire something as we get to 65 minutes and we've only had one highlight and it was the Rotherham goal. Here's number two, and that's a one, wonderful header one. Booty sends it to Phoenix, who's had to cut inside because he's been snuffed out of the space. Uh, all the way back to Brunt, who finds Phoenix again, tries to go around his man. He does kind of, just about. Try what? I'm not sure what happened there, but he lost the ball. He just sort of forgot that he needed the football to play football. But he's found it anyway. Found inside to Marshall, who's taken it to the byline. Cuts back inside. Oh, he scored from that angle. That looked like it was a cross, but it's gone in. He definitely didn't mean that. That was a square ball to the back post. And it's just defeated everyone and somehow snuck into the bottom corner to make the equaliser. Uh, 72 minutes, 26 seconds on the clock. We're going to make some changes for Vili. Uh, you've been pretty naff all season. We're going to bring Conte on. He's not a target forward, though. He's more of an advanced forward. We're going to bring him on advanced forward on attack. If I can get my mouse to work where I want it to. There we go. Excellent. Uh, Brunt's deserved his yellow card, so he's probably eyeing up a second. We'll bring him off as well. And Thorndike, surprisingly, hasn't played very well all, all game. He's normally been a bit better than that. We're going to bring Phoenix. We're going to try something new. We're going to bring Phoenix into central of attacking midfield. And McKendry out on the left. Can Phoenix do anything different? We'll just go with Shadow Striker because that's kind of all he's decent at here. Uh, we'll leave it there so far as the three changes we'll make. We'll potentially make some more as we get deeper into the second half. We're going to encourage, move to positive for the final 10 minutes, see if we can try and push the game a little bit. It might not be working though. Five minutes to go. We'll make those final two changes. Masterson can't make the pace of the match. Booty tired off for Hayden. And final change. I, uh, I struggle. I think we might have to bring a defend. No, we've already bought a defender on, haven't we? Sorry. Can't think what we've done already. Maybe Lindsay coming off. Or Phoenix is struggling a little bit. We're going to have to bring uh, Ryan Colley into the... Well, he's not very good there, is he? Maybe Conte can swap back for him. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, Conte can go in the um, attacking midfielder shadow striker position. We kind of but struggling for depth there. Now Osario is injured. Uh, that's a hopeful ball and it's been snuffed out by the Rotherham. But Kilgore has collected it in loads of space. He finds Crankshaw who just loses it once again. Square ball doesn't do anything with it and it's kind of dangerous here they've got loads of men over men in the middle and Lyndon Dykes has snatched it at the death it's been it's been ruled offside the flag was up they had so many men available in the middle and they've managed to get it disallowed for offside okay uh, six minutes of out of time ball gone we've got a draw and I said at the beginning of the episode a draw would be good enough proud of the work let's move forward and and beat Blackpool because we could do with a victory in this episode. And beating Blackpool again, another six-pointer. Hopefully it doesn't end in a draw as well. But if we win that one, we leapfrog them and push on towards the automatic places. Right, uh, we'll be back in a second with uh, match number two away at Blackpool. And we return to head to Blackpool. We're getting all the sights today. New York and Blackpool all in one episode. Only one change, I think, from the starting eleven as Colley comes in to replace... Um, Favili, who has been very neutered so far this season. Uh, the thought of leaving at the end of year is clearly impacting his performance because he was a 25-goal scorer last season, uh, and he's on four so far. I know we're only 10% in, but uh, 10, 11 games in, but, you know, he needs to be better than that. Right, away at Blackpool. Um, again, some, some sights we're seeing today, Blackpool and New York. I'm going to keep running that joke into the ground. And we've got a highlight after three minutes, and it's a Blackpool one, which is not great if they score, obviously. And they have. Brooklyn Lions Foster gets his first goal of the season. Of course he does. What better place to do it than facing us? This is going to be a poor episode, isn't it? They are obviously sitting one place above us, two places above us, three places above us now, as they jump up to fourth, and we fall back down to seventh. Uh, but we've got a highlight again, 11 minutes in. We're going to hopefully build from the back and get our revenge straight away. And not like that we don't, with a very loose pass from Booty. He's got a no, loose loose Booty. That's that's not good if you've got one of those, is it? 
It's not good at all, Regan. Maybe you should go to the doctors and get that one looked at. Uh, we... Uh, no, I didn't want to press that one. Cancel that. I wanted to move my mentality to positive and shout at them. Because so far, we've been poor again. This is not good. We aren't normally this poor, I'll be honest. Usually, when I've not got that camera on, we've been quite good. We've, we've won, like, every game bar one this season. And... There's just been nothing in either of these two fixtures that we've shown today. I don't understand it. I thought orange kits were cursed as well. So what are Blackpool doing winning? What's that all about? Uh, throw in again for Blackpool. Another highlight not for us. We've had one goal in this episode and it was a cross. And we've just... I thought that was going to go in. I, th I literally thought that was going to be an own goal. But luckily it's been cleared off the line. Uh, corner for Blackpool. Going to whip it in Lingard. Is that Jesse Lingard playing for Blackpool? That's great. What's he doing in League One? Clearly, good enough. Um, right, Lee. That's the that's the end of the first half. This been poor. We've done. We've not done well so far. We need a much better display in the second half. Sort your stuff out. It is Jesse Lingard, by the way. Just in case you hadn't noticed on screen, he is playing in League One. How the mighty have fallen. Was he mighty? Can you call him mighty? Anyway, he's fallen. He's in League One now. Uh, uh, Blackpool are building from the back once again. Uh, inside to the aforementioned Lingard, who's probably going to score now because I've just made fun of him. Yep. There we go. As if by magic, I've made fun of him and he scored. How can he hear me? How? That is what I want to know. He can't. It's just football manager doesn't like you. That's, well, me. Doesn't like me. Doesn't like anyone. Football manager does things to annoy you because that's in the programming. Um, Ollie Crankshaw for McKendry is the first change we're making. Favila can come on for Collie and hopefully turn something around. Lindsay's been playing poorly as well. If I brought everyone off who's had a poor game, we haven't got enough subs to do that. So I can't before I go any further. Uh, and Conte, come on. that's four changes. Four changes at 64 minutes. Um... It's not going to make any difference. We're going to have to go more positive. We're going to have to go attacking because this has been poor and we aren't going to do anything with two goals to the bad. The opposite of good. The opposite of two goals to the good. Blackpool are two goals to good. Brunt with a free kick sends it backwards. Got everyone forward and he sent it backwards. There we go. Hey, hang on. Might have worked. Phoenix. There we go. Well, who am I to doubt? Who am I to doubt? Brunt. Because Phoenix has scored. So there we go. 2-1. The movement to attacking has worked temporarily. Uh, as we breeze into the last 10 minutes, we'll we'll make a last minute change and see if that can do anything about anyone. Regan Booty, you can... I mean, you're tired, but you're playing well and not one else has. But Thompson can come on. We've used our last sub. Uh, we're going to have to do some sort of shouting once again. Demand more once again for the final five minutes. See if that makes a difference. We can grab a draw here. It won't have been a terrible day, but it looks like it might be a terrible day. Five minutes of added time are quickly going. Nothing happening in those. We've had loads of chances towards the end of the game, and none of them were on camera. Never mind. Phoenix, once again, the man of the match. I think it was actually Marshall last time out, but he's got a goal, and it's a consolation one, as we've lost 2-1 at Bloomfield Road. Proud of your efforts, even though we lost, and it wasn't that great. But we'll keep morale up. Anyway, we've still got games in hand against most of the sides of others, apart from Hull. Um, so we could, in theory, be back sort of somewhere in the playoffs anyway. But that... We finally lost. Anyway, eight games unbeaten. Lost. Excellent. Right, what is happening next? Uh, we got the FA Cup. We've got the next round of the FL Trophy. We don't care about that really, though, do we? Uh, we'll probably be back around Christmas time. Who have we got around Christmas? Not Rothermer again, that's for sure. Maybe we'll do... I mean, Leighton Orient aren't very good, but maybe we'll do the Brisbane Road Derby. Obviously, we ground share with Leighton Orient. So maybe we'll do that one just before Christmas and potentially visit Portsmouth away on Boxing Day. Or maybe we'll do Notts County away beforehand and come back for Christmas before Christmas and leave before... I'm going to say Christmas again. It's August. or I mean, it's... It's August as I'm recording. It'll be September by the time... Will it be September, actually, by the time? Who knows? Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please like this video. Share it around with all your friends. Let, let them know that I'm a bumbling fool who just talks about Christmas. And it's August. Because why not? We'll be back for Christmas 2026 in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. See you then.